Bitcoin is finally uh, as it looks like in the final stage of this dump so we should get here pretty soon a recovery on the 4 hourly chart but there is something really really interesting uh, coinciding with the prior bull run that I don't want to withhold from you guys so please stay here until the end of this video and please if you are watching here for the first time this channel please subscribe and also activate the notification bell so that you will never miss out on these um, crazy Bitcoin updates that I give here on a daily basis. so but now let's get here straight into the chart so here on the Bitcoin uh, for hourly chart we see that the price dipped here all the way down into our big support box and from here it looks like that we finally got here a small bounce here back to the upside so and it looks like that we want to break above this box here once again and to confirm once and for all this box as our um, yeah pathway on the way to the upside into new all-time highs so and why I'm saying this is here on the four hourly chart we see here um, a tweezer bottom candlestick pattern that um, was formed here and after this we started to uh, move here to the upside so and now I definitely expect here more upside in the coming hours for Bitcoin but would I open now a, long, a new long position down here no right now I won't uh, just because I have here this tweezer bottom that is for me not enough I want to see here more follow through from the bolts especially also when we're looking here at the volume so here came some volume in when we closed uh, the prior four hourly candle but I definitely want to see here um, let's say a move back at least to $61,400 so above all these candles here um, there I, I would consider open a small long position and to ladder in into a new long position here to the upside <clears throat> but not before um, because we could technically still roll over and fake out so and I want to obviously prevent this from happening also when we're looking here on the 20 EMA from the Bollinger Band um, this one is still pointing down in the immediate short term which is also uh, yeah, not a healthy sign so we want also to get above this so once we're above this there we can scale back big time into a long position so and um, yeah that's what I'm waiting for so I might open here a small one and um, then add continuously to the position uh, on the way up here and once we close a four hourly or a daily candle above the 20 EMA there uh, I would then go bigger um, into this trade so but now let me show you what I have found so and that is a little bit crazy because literally nobody on YouTube is talking about this nobody I checked it this morning uh, I spent an hour looking on uh, on YouTube if somebody else is talking about this nobody is showing you this so and for this we go here to the weekly chart so and I want to show you especially let me go here a little bit back so I want to talk about this section here actually let's make this a little bigger oh, oops sorry guys let's do this like this let me make this not orange I need a color that's yeah so so now <clears throat> the left side is the bull run from 2017 so and what can we see here what similarities do we find here to the bull run that we are in right now so let me pull this up here a little bit more so the similarity here is that we bottomed out here and we did the same here afterwards we went here on a run to the upside so exactly what we did here so then we retraced what we also did here and then we went back to the upside here uh, oops sorry guys so then we went again up <clears throat> so now I sorry I have to check uh, the time a little bit I'm not messing here the timeline time timelines up sorry uh, sorry guys I have actually to break this down into a daily chart sorry for that oops so on a daily chance will be much much clearer for you guys oh 
Oh, sorry guys, that it takes here just a little bit. Please stay with me. So here, there. Just wanted to say, bear with me. So, but uh, here we get it. So this is still the weekly chart. So here we also need the daily chart. Here it's a little bit easier. So now, now let's have a look again. So do you see here any big similarities? I see here massive similarities. So now let me show you to this. So this is the section that we want. So guys, <clears throat> so when we look at this here now on the daily chart, so you can see here in September, now look at the date, 16th of September, we had here a low point. Then here, 6th of September, also here 16th of September, we had the low point. Um, so, but we got here a little bit later, lower. So it was technically here the 20, in the 20. So we were four days later than in 2017. So then we run up to a high point here, 7th November. Now look where here the high point was, 9th November. Do you see already a similarity? We are playing here out the same, the same run like in 2017. The only difference is that we are off by a couple of days. So now look where the low point was here. The 12th, here's our low point, the 16th. And now look what happened afterwards. So actually I have to expand this here a little bit. So afterwards, after this final low, we went here all the way up to the top. So this here is most likely the final low. And now we know what happens next. So we will run to our new high. So the new high could be technically all the way up uh, more or less here. So that that is more or less the same size that, that we have here. Actually, let me make uh, make this a little bit clearer with, with a uh, bars pattern. So let's copy this over if that works. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work, guys. No, I cannot just move this over. No, uh, too bad guys, too bad. So I would have now technically to go all the way back here to 2017 to do the same thing. Uh, ah, here, there, it is here, perfect. So now we can pull this over. And then let's see, according to this pattern, where we should top out. So here's the bottom. Look, that puts Bitcoin at $200,000 uh, in the next couple of weeks, if we are correct here. So look at this. By December next, next month, Bitcoin should be at $200,000 if this pattern continues uh, to repeat itself. Because we did copy the whole up run here uh, from 2017, from September um, yeah, from September 2017, we copied the whole run up here uh, until until today, all the way here. So if that continues, then we are looking at, by the end of this month, at around $100,000, and next month it should double, which would be insane. So guys, there you see, the, if you're in doubt, you have to zoom out to see the bigger picture here. So, and if you want to, based on that, now open a long position, then don't forget you can do this on Bybit or on Femix. They have both the craziest bonuses there that they have ever given. On um, Bybit, it's $3,500 that is still available. On Femex, it's right now $4,100 that you can claim there with the link in the pinned comment below. And also, don't forget, you can also still um, join my paid signals channel. Also, um, look here, some results. And also, in the pinned comment below is a link to get in touch with my staff to join um, this paid uh, signal group. So now let's have a quick look into Ethereum. So Ethereum also went here all the way down, um, really, really close to the $4,000 level. 
so where we have also massive support. So we can see that uh, here it was support. Here uh, we had a small fake out to the downside, but came back up again. Here another fake out came back up again. Again a fake out, but then since then we stayed above this. So and that created major major support for the Ethereum price. What we can see actually here right now. So and uh, because of that we are also moving her back to the upside. But also here I would like to see more follow through. I would like to see Ethereum breaking here above four thousand four hundred dollars uh, before I would here go massively into a long position uh, before it would be also um, too risky in my opinion so sometimes it's better that we stay a little bit on the sidelines and don't over trade and wait for the trade to actually come to us so then um, I also want to talk quick about again the Bitcoin dominance and here you can see we are now with today's candle actually completing the W pattern so but but guys, don't, uh, remember, I don't believe that we will break here 44.4 unless Bitcoin will make like a $10,000 jump here to the upside. Unless that is happening and we create a new all-time high, I don't see the Bitcoin dominance breaking here over 44.4 and instead seeing here further rejection to the downside and the altcoins will recover the losses that um, they have suffered over the last couple of days. So guys... Um, don't forget also to follow my Twitter. Um, here you can see my Twitter handle is amcryptoalex. So I share here also a lot of valuable information. So you can interact here with, with me. I'm pretty active on my Twitter account. Um, so I also post here uh, some funny stuff like that I'm prepared uh, if we go lower that I can um, yeah, apply to work at McDonald's. So um, yeah, so obviously it's, it's a joke. I don't want to offend anybody working at McDonald's. There's nothing wrong with that. I had also sh shitty jobs um, in my life. So and uh, yeah, nothing wrong with that. So guys, um, that's it all already for today's um, episode. Once again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, then please subscribe to the channel. Smash up the like button. Button. also activate the notification bell and make some noise for, for the YouTube algorithm and let me actually know in the comment section do you think that we continue to repeat this pattern from 2017 or will be uh, this uh, this time everything absolutely different let me know I'm really really curious what you have to say about this so other than that you know the drill I will see you again tomorrow